There is a total of 177 different titles on Black Spruce, and amongst all of them, there is one specific title that is liked by everyone, and that title is... Ace Squad, officially a noob, Water Gang, don't ask your family. Okay, yeah, those are also liked and wanted by the most people, but they are near impossible to get, so I'm not talking about those. The actual title I'm talking about is Raging Demon. To unlock Raging Demon title, you have to get 20 bounty without dying in a single server. To put it in a more simple perspective, it's basically killing 7 people 3 times without dying. Now, it might not seem hard for a regular bounty hunter with a kitsune fruit, but for a player who doesn't really like bounty hunting or not really good at the PvP, it's really hard for them to earn this title. So for that reason, I have decided to grind 7 different accounts to level 1950 to help people earn this title for free for payment. I, I'm not spending all of that time for nothing. So in today's video, I will be sharing how this title changed my inventory from this to this. So let's get started. Alright, since I wanted to make a really detailed video about this topic, this video will be split in a couple of parts, so you can click on the timestamps down below to choose where you want to watch it. Almost a year ago, I have learned a very good way to earn fruits in Blocks Fruits, that being services. Basically, for a fruit payment, you are helping people with a variety of stuff, such as raids, docking, rip indra, the list goes on and on. After I found this out, I wanted to try it out, since I like free stuff, you know, like free stuff is my favorite thing in the world. And well, I quickly found out that it wasn't really worth it. Now, I will say right off the bat, I was extremely lucky to have YouTuber role in Black Spruce Discord server, because like that shit gave me plus 100 trust buff. Like holy sh- I wish I knew about this earlier. It's because in about 2 months of helping people with mainly raids and Darkblade V3, I managed to get all 38 fruit permanent in Black Spruce. My best deal was probably getting permanent though for helping this dude fully awaken his door fruit, like I still can't believe this offer till this day, like god damn. I just got extremely lucky because like he was only level 700 and he probably didn't know about prices, so I mean I still take it. I'm also glad that I could give lots of people a trusted servers, and I might have taken very expensive fruits only, but still, amongst everyone I helped, I never scammed a single person and- Brother, you're not getting this one. You're not getting this one! You better! You better give it back. What happened to that skin? And I delivered what they paid for. So for that reason, I managed to gather 162 watches in total. As I'm writing this script, it also showed me that not everyone in this community were toxic. I genuinely had some people who were extremely kind and just there to help me. For example, you know, there were this person called a cool kid who gave me fruit notifier game pass and three permanent fruits for almost for free. What the hell? But you know, if there is something good, there is also something bad. So for that reason, it's time to move on to the second topic. And now, we are at my favorite part, because I will be pouring down all my rage to one person, which I will talk about later on. So the main problem for a new starter is probably gaining some watches, which is still doable if you can just do services for cheap and gain some watches, then you can just make the prices higher when you are at a certain level where you have enough watches. And if I have to be honest, void system is like 90% useless because even though I have fake scam watches, I will mention about it in a minute, I still got lots of fruits from people. Maybe it's because I had the YouTuber role, so for that reason people didn't bother checking my watches, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. Other than watches, it's just some people DMing you just to troll, you know, like, giving some good offers, and when you say okay, they go like, psych, kill yourself, you mother y You know them, like, they are, you know, you know them, like, those kind of people who just waste, waste, who just want to waste your time, you know? Another type of person, I will just call them 9 year olds, it's because what they are doing is, if you don't accept their bad offer, they are just scam watching you without any proof. You know, you just don't accept their offer because, you know, there is trade limit and you just don't want to waste your time on that. And I don't know, they are becoming mad and just scam watching you. I mean, how that works, I guess. And some of them are just doing it for fun. For example, these two people. I don't have any single DM message with them, yet they still did a scam watch for me, you know. You know. Alright, now it's time to talk about certain fake scam watches, but a warning beforehand, following footage will include lots of rage and swear words. So if you are not old enough, or just 
doesn't like people swearing, move to the time shown in the screen. Thank you. Alright, now that that's done, I can finally start. Our story starts when a guy called Trillion Wonders DM'd me and asked about my Raging Demon title. Uh, and I can't show our messages because I'm a dumbass and I d didn't just took screenshot of the messages and since I'm talking lots of people per day, yeah, I can't see his user. I, mean, I don't know his user so I can't find him anymore. His offer was for Venom Fruit, which still could be good for, I don't know, many, many people. But I just declined since I was trying to obtain more high, high value fruits. And then... That piece of shit, that fatherless trillion wonders, couldn't take no as an answer and just went to the raid callouts to make a f scam watch for me. You know, because he just couldn't take it. And that's not how it ends by the way. To clear up evidence, I suppose, he made a new account called Billion Wonders. You know, I wonder where he got the inspiration from. And this f fatherless piece of shit filled my mentions with full of fake scam watches. And it's not even only one time that he did it. Since this dude never loved by his parents, he's just coming to raid callouts at a random time of the day. Cam watches me a couple of times, then dips. Okay. <laughs> okay, so as I'm writing this script, I realize that this clown ass either got f banned from the server or just left the Discord server. <laughs> I swear, I couldn't be more happier than seeing this getting banned because like, I just couldn't like I'm glad that he got banned because if he would fake scam watch me one more time the DM message he would receive from me wasn't going to be very pleasant and yeah I guess those were all the bad stuff I could think about services you know it's mostly worth it if you are just doing it honestly but you know there's just bad apples in the community so you can't really do anything about them but anyways time to move on to the next topic I wanted to add this section as well to flex how lucky I got with certain offers. Cause you know, you will never be able to get these offers. <laughs> so the first offer I will be talking about is Permanent Dark. Which I got it by helping this person with Dark Blade V3. Pretty good, pretty good deal in my opinion since most I was getting either food storage or a leopard for Dark Blade V3 servers at the time. Second best deal I will say is Dragon and Blizzard Fruit for Permanent Ice. Yeah, I saw this person on Discord, I didn't really thought that he was going to do it, but he really did it. Why I didn't thought that he was going to do it is because, you know, when people see the permanent text, they go crazy, they go crazy with the offer, so I just thought he was joking or like trying to waste people time. But I mean, he didn't do it and he actually gave it. Anyways, moving on, my next best deal was permanent sand for only one leopard. I was just randomly server hopping and I saw this dude were trading, so I just sit on the trade table and he put the permanent sand and I put the leopard, he accepted it. In my opinion, it's a pretty big W. Next deal is also like that. I found this dude who traded permanent rubber for only one leopard. You know, I also got very lucky with that. And for my last and by far the best offer, rocket for permanent T-Rex. Well, I mean, I still did that too, but I don't count it since it was a, it was kind of a gift from this Giga Chat. My best deal was getting permanent dough for only helping with fully dough awakening. God, damn. Like, I'm still shocked to this day that I managed to get that trade. Anyways, time to move on to the last topic of this video. So obviously, I haven't grinded all the accounts by myself. I might be a no life, but I like keeping my sanity at a certain level. So for that reason, I have asked my friend if he could help me grind the accounts, promising that he will get 50% of what I earn. And after we were done with grinding, I calmly blocked him. Anyways, all jokes aside, from this service, I mean, uh, with the pay he got, he managed to get himself a permanent though, so he got his pay, don't worry. So I have done this title servers for 20 days as of now, so I will be sharing all the offers I have gotten in 20 days. And I feel like I will regret this though, because I saw lots more people started doing Raging Demon servers after me, I guess, I don't know. And since I'm sharing my full profit now, yeah, it will be a little problem for me. But anyways, you know. I already got lots of fruits, so anyway, it's fine, you know. But yes, it's going to be a problem for me when I'm out of fruits because of the, all the new fruits they have added. So for now, I'm good. But in the future, I will regret this. But anyways. But yes, let's start talking about the offers. So on the first day, I managed to get a Kitsune, Doe, another Doe, and another Doe. And lastly, you won't believe it, one more Doe fruit. So I guess it's three or four Doe fruit. 
One, two, three. Yeah, it's a do it's four dough fruit, yes. And on the second day, which is the day I got lots of fruits, so let me just start explaining. I got one dragon, leopard, dough, another leopard, mammoth and control, two more leopards, two dough, and lastly a dragon. Which I also gave dough fruit, but still it's a W because yes, anyway. Leopard and another leopard. And yeah. So we total that lots of leopards, lots of those, and lots of dragons, but yeah, I mean, I got lots of stuff. Anyways, moving on to the third day. On day 3, I managed to get 2 dragon and 3 leopard fruits. Still, amazing day. Amazing fruits. Yes. On day 4, the raging demon himself came to claim his title for, for a dragon fruit. Yeah, it's, it was kind of a weird moment, but yeah. And other than that, I got T-Rex and a dough fruit. On day 5, I got 2 leopards only. On day 6, I got 3 dragon, 1 T-Rex and 1 leopard fruit. And unfortunately, there is no day 7, because on day 7, the city needed me. On day 8, I got dough and a T-Rex fruit. And on day 9, I managed to get 3 leopard fruits. After that, I decided to take a break for 6 days or so, just to chill a little bit and edit videos. Because, you know, I also have to do that. And I feel like commentary is getting repetitive, so I will just show what I got and end the video after that. So if you haven't done it so far, please like and subscribe and leave a comment if you can to help this video reach more audience so I, I at least can be happy to see a video performing well. And thank you for watching. It's no longer the same